What's up everyone, I'm back with another video. Now this one isn't a typical vlog. I'm actually back with an old friend of mine. you never seen his face before, but that's Frankie, who's helped me with all the sneaker reviews. Today, we got a very, very special shoe that we got down here to review. The super nice box we got here. So we got the Jordan Chicago Lost and Found. I've heard some people call it the reimagined Chicago, and I think it's really cool because it's just a twist on a timeless classic that we got here. Now, I know I haven't been doing a lot of the sneaker reviews. Lately, I've been doing more travel stuff, more vlogging content, but this was a very special shoe that we had to put on the channel because we were sneaker lovers, we're sneaker heads, and I think this is a shoe that can bring anyone back into sneaker culture, despite sneaker culture having its flaws. But that's another video for another time. Right now, let's just get into this review right now. I've never been in a drop, right? And sneaker says that it's no service, bro. Like, that's crazy. I tried, I tried like seven times to get these. Actually, I wasn't even gonna get them in the beginning. But then I was like, let me just try my luck. And here they are. I gotta say, I like all the little details. We already seen the cracked leather right there, which is a nice touch, because if you think about it, if you really wanted to get a vintage look, and I've had my personal opinions on things that look fake vintage, but this is perfect, because you can't really wear a 1985 Chicago. It'll just break apart on you. So if you really wanted to, you could. And then Frankie noticed this, but right here on the wing, on this particular pair, it's like damage. And it's funny because we were like, okay, that's cool. They added that touch. But then on the other pair, it's not there. So I don't know, you know, we've all known how bad Nike's quality control is, but I feel like this is the easiest way to get away with it because they purposely damaged the shoe. So it's like, was it there? Was it meant to be there? Do other people, if you got the pair yourself, do you have it on your personal pair? I don't know. You got to let us know in the comments what you think about that. But continue on with the shoe. I definitely like how, oh, my finger. I definitely like how the midsole is a bit more yellow, kind of like a cell color. If you were to look closely right around here, it's really hard to see it. all around, like this white part of the shoe where the Nike swoosh is, is cracked leather. That's just how it is. It's like has these little lines, these designs. It's hard to see on camera. And I, I point it out because this is the first time that I'm seeing it. And I see other people talk about it. And I'm like, what are they talking about? There's, that, that's pristine leather. But no, it's crashed up and has little markings to make it feel this vintage look. And then as you go around, as I go around with my finger and I basically just go around the shoe, certain parts of the leather feel different. And I think that adds to it. Like I said, this could be Nike's quality control. Uh, making it seem bad because we know how that's that's been in the past for them But this is acceptable because it's a vintage shoe and even when you go to the toe box over here We can see that this is a little bit more uh, Sale what was that? It's kind of scratched up in the first like in the part like right here Yeah, it's weird. I don't know if it's I'm pretty sure a lot of these scratches are on purpose But like the wings logo, I don't I don't think that's on purpose. I think that was an accident and I like how even the tongue has its own cell colorway. And it comes with both white and black laces. I'm pretty sure most people already know that, but this is a really awesome shoe to see. Um, just came in fresh from the mail. So super exciting to see this. As you can see, the bottoms of the shoe have this faded look, uh, kind of like, well, they were just sitting in a storage unit, which is the story of the shoe. And that's another thing we got to give it up to Nike. Nike is the king of storytelling, so it's super cool how they tell a story like that just to get you interested in the shoe. We, you know, I'm sure you guys already know, but it comes with a fake receipt. And it's funny because I remember people buying fake Yeezys several years ago, like 2015, and every fake Yeezy came with a fake receipt with somebody else's name on it, and it was always the same name no matter what. I always thought that was hilarious. Oh, look, he got the receipt right there. It's funny because I was just making fun of this because the wing logo was damaged, and I was like, I'm going to blame Paul over here. But I'm positive, I'm pretty sure everyone has the same name. Like, Paul sold you this sneaker, and this sneaker was received by uh, Leia. You could even see the price, right? It says, like, paid, but it's, like, $14.99. Something like that. Um, I don't know if it's $114 or $14.99, but 
$14.99 for Jordans, and they're real. Back in 86. So another thing about this shoe, it being supposedly from 1986 or 85, is that the box is a little bit different as you can see. So it's still a Jordan 1 box, but it's a, you know, faded and Honestly, I don't know if this is like the original Jordan box that they would use back in the 80s because the top is faded. But it's really cool to see what they did with it because as you can see, there's distressing all over the box. And as you remember from the other video that we did on the off-white uh, dunks, you have and you can click right here to see them. They had a lot of details in the box that I like. And I like when Nike does these things to really try and bring the sneaker to life in just more than a form of a shoe where the storytelling is also in the box itself. We just showed you the receipt, you saw the receipt, and the fact that having the box with all these little uh, things on it, and I just noticed here, it's a sell right over here. There's two stickers on it, and I think the actual price of the shoe was $64.99, because there's a 6.4 on it. And it's funny, because it's actually one sticker made to look like it's two. Any other things? No, let's go inside. So inside the box, we have this cool wrapping paper which is kind of like a newspaper, different Jordan products, different shoes on it. Mainly Jordan 1 shoes, and we see the prices of them. It says Air Jordan, Nike, Super Sale, regular price $65, $90, uh, $29.99 right now on sale. So it's crazy because, you know, that those prices have not exist for quite some time. Other than having the same type of design all over, which is essentially this... Uh, newspaper catalog for Nike products and Jordan 1s. Really cool to see how if you look closely you can read some of it but really you can't so you know it's talking about the materials and stuff like that but it's really blurred out so you can't really make it out. So this is an excellent shoe. Like I said earlier I haven't bought any shoes. I haven't bought any Jordans, any Adidas but this is a shoe that really brought me back into it. Even though this isn't my pair this is Frankie's pair and I got to thank Frankie for hitting me up with these because I didn't expect this. This was a last minute thing. We were gonna shoot something completely different and now we're shooting this. This is an amazing shoe. If you haven't picked up, if you haven't picked this up already, there's a <laughs> geese right there. Hey, yo, they're going crazy. Look at them. Look at what they're doing. <laughs> oh my God, what is this, bro? What is this? Welcome to Florida. You got wild animals like this. At least it isn't an alligator. There's another one over there. I think he's trying to Whatever, he's fine. Before I got really interrupted, I think this is an amazing shoe that you, you should pick up. If you haven't picked it up already, consider picking it up. I know resale is like, like not the best thing in the world, but I feel if you wait till Christmas, prices will be up through the roof. That's my opinion, that's my suggestion. If you did get these, congratulations. I think you got a special one. For me, personally, and even for Frankie, he said this, but this is a great shoe that can get you back into sneaker culture. Like this is basically our first shoe back since our hiatus on the channel because we haven't been doing sneaker reviews for a while. And this is one that was worth doing. And this is one that I'm very thankful that um, that Frankie did try to go for these and actually was successful because I, I didn't try. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you joining us. If you guys like what you see, feel free to subscribe to see more. Also. Click over here to check out our latest vlog. A lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, oh okay. Hi. <laughs> I don't want them here, bro. Chill. Okay, so we're over here just trying to shoot content for the shoe, obviously. And Man. this geese. I don't know, I guess he thinks I have bread or something, but he won't leave us alone. Kind of sketch, to be he honest. He kind of want the shoe. He does. These freaking guys won't leave us alone. Look, This one especially. I don't have any bread for you, bro. Yeah, these geese are savages out here. Attacking the innocent. Is it close?